right, we're ready. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome, everybody, New Beginnings Church of the Big Beard. Amen. And we want to welcome you. Bienvenidos a todos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. We need to prepare and receive what God has for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's got plenty for us. And uh, I'm excited. So you be excited. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. I've got a few nuggets here I want to read to you here in a few minutes. Before we do that, grab your Bibles. Yeah. And say it like you mean the church. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I love the word. Amen. I got a few nuggets before we get going, but we're going to be talking to you about praising him. Amen. There's a lot of turmoil going on right now. Uh, coronavirus, uh, a lot of fear going on. Uh, and you know what? We need to know, regardless of what's going on, we got to praise him. Amen. Praise God. Don't, don't pass that up. Don't pass that opportunity to praise him. Amen. Amen. I want to read a couple of nuggets here for you. <laughs> the church is not an audience to be entertained. It is an army to be empowered. Amen. You are in the army of God. Amen. Yes. And you are to be empowered. And then on a daily basis, you spend time with him and read his word and get yourself strong in him. You know, the stronger you are, the more you get into the word in you, the stronger your faith is. And you're going out there and you're empowered in the, his word. Amen. Yeah. Empowered to go and set the captives free. Yeah. Amen. So remember, you're in the army of God and you're to be empowered you know yeah. uh, let's not bring the world into the church and say well you know what are you, you going to do today uh -huh. <laughs> uh, how, how, how can you entertain me no uh -huh. forget about that amen, amen. and I'm going to read you my um, my little scripture break that I have in praising him it says magnify God your God and not your problem uh -huh. your mind wonders ponders Reasons and disputes over minor manners that don't make really matter. Spend your time praising Him, magnifying Him, and how much He loves you. Amen. Your emotions will change when you take your mind off your problem yes. and you start to praise Him, magnify Him. Amen. Yeah. So remember that. You want some peace? You seek the peace, Prince of Peace. Amen. Yes. He is our Prince of Peace. Yes. So praise God. And we read this. Yes, last week uh, we started studying about uh, prayer. Mm -hmm. And listen to this. How can I praise him? Don't face the enemy or don't face, face each day until you have faced your God. Amen. Amen. When you face your God, you know what? You've got the power. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. I've got the power to press on in the things of God. Amen. So we're going to be talking about pra uh, praising. Praise him. Amen. Uh -huh. So praise God. Amen. I'm yeah. excited. I don't know about you, but all you can do is get excited. Yes. There you go. Praise him. <laughs> We're going to be talking about lifting your hand. Yeah. Don't be embarrassed to do this. Eh? Yeah. We're going to be talking about praising your, uh, lifting your hands. We're going to be talking about crying. We're going to talk about laying before him, kneeling before him. Yeah. Uh, all kind of things that we can do. Amen. Yeah. We used to do it in the world huh. when we was stone drunk or stone high. <laughs> But we can't do it for God. You know, say, oh, no, I don't want nobody seeing me doing that. But well, we used to do it. The world see us do all these things. And now we can't do it for God. And we want to magnify him and not magnify our problem. Amen. Our key scripture is going to be this. Uh, Psalms 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. It says, his praise Amen. shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. I want to praise him at all times. Amen. Not just sometimes. You know, some of us only remember him when things are going good. Or, uh -huh. or excuse me, when things are going bad. Yeah. When things are going good, we forget about him yeah. and just check out, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything's fine, God. I don't need you right now. You know, just like that spare tire treatment, you know. Mm -hmm. We just leave it and we know the spare tire is in the, in the, in the trunk. Mm -hmm. And, then, you know, if we need it, we'll take it out. Well, guess what? We're to praise him at all times. Psalms 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. It says, His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. 
And you notice the mouth is very important. Because out of our mouth, we speak life or death. The words yeah. of God, amen. The Bible says they're, they're life or death. So you need to be careful what you're saying yeah. or what's coming out of your mouth. You gotta put a guard on your on your on, on your on your mouth and say the right things. Yes. Positive things or negative things. You want to say positive things, amen. Say the right things. Yeah. As believers, we're to magnify uh, we're to praise and magnify and give thanks to God. Mm -hmm. Our image of God should be big and not small. Amen. Sometimes we just think he's a small God. And we magnify this world more than we magnify God. And who created this world? He did. Amen. So we want to magnify him. And you know, the more you spend time with him and fellowship with him, the bigger he's going to be. Amen. But you're also going to find out that you're very special to him. Yes. And you're going to find out that you're in his army and you're part, a very a special part in his army. Yes. And whatever you do, you do it under him and things are going to, he's going to bless you. Amen. So yes. praise God. Our relationship with him will grow our faith, will grow our image of him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's what we want to do. We want to grow our relationship so that we can think highly of him and he's big and not small. Amen. And I want to say this too. Whatever you do for God, big or small, mm -hmm. don't compare, don't compete, but excuse me, I don't want to say this. You're not competing with each other. You're just um, completing one another. Yes. Amen. As a body of Christ, we com com complete right. one another. That's right. And, it, you know, if you notice, this uh, physical body has many parts, uh -huh. and they don't compete against each other. No. They work in unity. No. And we, as a body of Christ, we need to work in unity also. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever you've been gifted or called to do, then you do it. But I don't have to copy what you do. Yeah. I want to be what God created me to be and be the original God created me to be. Yeah. So you don't have to go copying anybody else. Yeah. Amen. Right. Just be what God created you to be. Yeah. And if, if if your vision for him is small, then so be it. Yeah. But if you're doing it to him, it's, by, it's big for him. Yeah. Amen. But people are going to compare you and, uh, and say things, you know, and that's not good enough. That's not big enough. But that's okay. I'm doing it under him. When you do it under him, Yes. You know, whatever people say, whatever the world says, doesn't matter. Right. Amen. I'm excited. <laughs> we must continue to grow spiritually. Yes. Amen. The Bible says we fight a good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. So on a daily basis, we fight this faith battle. Amen. Mm -hmm. We fight this faith battle. We also fight a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. That we need the word in us so that we oh, yeah. can have mm -hmm. victory over this situation. Yep. Yep. Amen. So we got to get the word in us yes. so that our faith can grow. Yes. Amen. When our faith grows, fear has to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then we can do all things through Christ. Yes. And we're winners and we're champions for God. Amen. Yes. yes. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> so we must continue to mature in the things of God. Yes. You know, this physical body was born as an infant mm -hmm. and it's been growing and growing and growing. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to do the same thing. We need to continue to grow. Our, 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 our spiritual bodies yes. and mature in the things of God so we can grow and go for him and do for yes. him. Amen? So praise God. Praise is uh, listed over 330 times in the Bible and it comes from a Latin word that, that means value. Mm -hmm. When you praise him, you know, you value him. Amen? When you praise him and declare his greatness and his goodness. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. He said he's God on the mountain and he's God in the valleys. But you don't want to forget about him. Amen. Always know yeah. his greatness, his goodness. The book of Psalms means uh, praise or in the book of praises. Amen. Hebrew word hallelujah, which means praise the Lord. Amen. Praise is showing our appreciation and gratitude for God, what God has done for us. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You know, if you don't know what else to say, mm -hmm. just get before him and say thank you. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we, we, we lost for words. Mm -hmm. and you know, <laughs> thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> and this world has forgot how to say thank you anymore. Mm -hmm. Worship is honoring God for who he is. Yes. Lord, we just want to praise you and we want to worship you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, I got some good things to say. Yeah. I, want to, I got an acronym that I want to share with you. If you write this down, 
you'll never forget this. This is mine. Of course, there's many <laughs> other acronyms, but this is Jose's. Amen. Okay. And this is Pastor Jose's. Praise. Power released as I submit every day. You know, when you submit to him every day, he gives you power to go and fulfill whatever mission you have on a daily basis. Amen. Power released Amen. as I submit every day. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> uh, good. Next card. There's a few uh, praise him here. Praise him in the storms. Psalms 46, 1, 3, and 7. Oh, yeah. Praise him in the storms. You know we face storms every day. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> some of us get lost in the storms. <laughs> the disciples, <laughs> Jesus says, we're going to the other side. Uh-huh. Now, if he says, we're going to the other side, I have faith, I know. If, if the master says, if the, if, the, if the teacher says, we're going to the other side, we're going to the other side. Yeah. I have faith. But as soon as he falls asleep, mm. storms break out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the disciples say, um, we're going to go wake him up. Say, look, mm -hmm. you fell asleep and the storms came. Mm -hmm. So now you know as a child of God, prepare yourselves, yeah. get full of the word so when yeah. the storms of life come, you know what to say, and yeah. you know what to do. The word is in you, and when the word is in you, you got to release it. It's got to yeah. come out. But listen, we praise him in the storms. Yes, we do. You know what? Storms is going on daily, oh, every day. Boy. There's storms going on. Big Your storm. storms may be different than my storms, mm -hmm. but you know coronavirus is going on right oh, now. Jesus. Rioting is going on right now. Oh, Killings is going on right now. Mm. It doesn't matter. I'm going to praise you, Lord. Mm -hmm. The storms is happening, but still, yeah. you're my God. And I'm going to yes. serve my God. Amen. Yeah. You, do, you do the same thing. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise Him. Yes. Amen. Lord. Uh, keep going. There we go. Keep calm and praise Him through the storm. Uh -huh. So stay calm. <laughs> Don't lose control. Right. Stay in control, not out of control. Right. But be calm. Remember, He is the Prince of Peace. Yes. When you spend time with Him, He's going to give you his peace. Yes. And that's one of our fruits of the spirits. You know, we're going to have peace. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Let all the people praise him. Yes. So you're, you're not excluded. You're invited to praise him too. Amen. <laughs> uh, if you don't praise him now, you will eventually go praise him. <laughs> if you don't bow now, eventually you will bow down. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well learn right now. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say this for later, but I'm going to tell you. You know, the, there was two robbers or two crooks that were crucified with Jesus. Yeah. One of them learned, the other one didn't. Yeah. And you know, the one that did at the last minute, mm -hmm. he said, well, I recognize that you are Jesus, the mm -hmm. Son of God. And you know what? He praised them then. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says, today you'll be with, with, with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you know what? There's hope for everyone. Yeah. All we need to do is receive him, praise him, yes. and accept him as Lord and yes. Savior. You know? You, so man, that was, you don't know what the last minute. <laughs> yeah. The Bible says they wrote it down and he says, you know, I recognize who you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when you confess him as Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. he will save you. He won't turn you away. So uh, that's for somebody. Somebody needed that. So yes. it's time for you to come home. Amen. Amen. Just like the prodigal son just went to do his own thing. But you know what? It's time for you to come back. Amen. Amen. It's time for you to come back. Things yes. are going on. Instead of hanging, hanging out with the wrong crowd, yeah. hang out with the right crowd. Yes. Hang out with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. Praise God. Praise God. Magnify the Lord. Ooh. Keep going. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and this is for all of us. <laughs> Not just some of us. Amen. Keep going. Psalm 34.3. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. Psalm 69 and 30. Keep going. Yes. I'm looking for one. <clears throat> Here we go. Right there. Oh boy. Genesis 1.26 through 28. And God says, let us make man in our image uh -huh. and after our likeness and let them have dominion, dominion. over the fish of the sea, mm -hmm. over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over the earth mm -hmm. and over every creeping thing uh -huh. that creeps upon the earth. Mm -hmm. 
So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created him and made male and female created he them. Mm -hmm. You notice that he says, let us. He's uh -huh. talking to somebody. Uh-huh. He wasn't talking to himself. He said, let us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is the only place in the, one of the places in the Bible where he talks about the Trinity. Because mm -hmm. you ain't going to find Trinity in the Bible anyway. Mm -hmm. But he's talking about let us. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's talking, let us make men in our image. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. So if you don't know that, write that down. And this is God Elohim. He says, let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, make men in our image after our likeness. Uh -huh. Amen. So, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 34 and 3 says, O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. Amen. We come together and we magnify him. You yes. know, and nobody has to be around for you to right. spend time with him. You get yourself with him and, and just mm -hmm. magnify him. But as we assemble ourselves together and we come together, we yeah. can come together and magnify him. Yeah. You know, and praise him and worship him. Yes. So praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Lord. I'm already preached myself happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're to magnify God. Amen. Gratitude, a feeling of thankfulness, of yes. appreciation, an attitude of acknowledging a benefit that one has received. Thank you, Lord. Having an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Praise God. God delights in our attitude of gratitude. We're created to praise him. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> You're yeah. created to praise him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, we know what to do when we go out into the world. Okay. Well, we're created as Christians uh -huh. to magnify him, to praise him. John 20, uh, 4, 23 and 24, New Living Translation says, But the time is coming, indeed, is here now, uh -huh. the, when true worshipers will worship the yes. Father in spirit and in truth. Yes. It says the Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. And verse 24 says, For God is spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit. Amen? Amen. So this is this is awesome. This is the truth. You know, when you get the word in you, the truth is going to set you free. Amen? Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited. First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18 says, Always be joyful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Make pe ups people get upset because you, you got a smile on your face. Oh, yeah. But it says, always be joyful. Uh -huh. It says, uh, always keep praying or pray without ceasing. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Depends what translation you, you're reading. It says, no matter what happens, always be thankful. For this is God's will mm -hmm. for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> so. We're to thank him and pray and be joyful. Yes. It says the joy of the you need you need some strength? Be joyful. It says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. Amen. And we're to be strong. We're, we're to be warriors and not warriors. Mm -hmm. There's too many warriors going on right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we're to be warriors for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're in God's army and we're to be warriors, not warriors. <laughs> Isaiah 43 and 21 says this. Again, in Genesis, uh, excuse me. Like in Genesis 1 and 1, it says, The people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise. Yes. The same people that he created yeah. in Genesis 1, 26 through 28, he said uh -huh. that these people are to worship me. Amen. Yes. Uh, they shall declare my worship. Yes. Some have, some have never been taught, but you need to know now. We're not to just uh, spectate. We are to uh, participate. Yes. Amen. Not just sit back and receive anything. Somebody told you, well, you find out what the Word of God says. Yeah. Amen. Don't just believe what so-and-so says. Yeah. Is that what the Word of God says? No, no. That's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Then you go find out mm -hmm. and then believe and stand on what the Word of God says. Yes. Okay. They don't know. They don't know that this is what I was talking about a few minutes ago. Singing, shouting, dancing, mm -hmm. clapping of your hands lifting of your hands, mm -hmm. crying, kneeling, laying, is scriptural. Mm -hmm. It's scriptural. Some people don't want to do that. You know, some people come and say, I don't want to participate in praise and worship mm -hmm. because they feel like uh, they nice it and want to only uh, receive certain part of service. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just a whole service. Mm 
yes. includes uh, praise and worship. Praise and worship is not just a tune up for the service. <laughs> praise and worship yeah. is, the, is the service. Yes. This is the whole service. It's the whole enchilada. Yes. Amen. So praise God. We are to participate <laughs> and be involved. You see, it affects some people different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, you may be singing. Others may be crying. Others may be clapping. Others may be raising their hands. Mm -hmm. You may see some laying down. Mm -hmm. You may see some kneeling down. It doesn't matter. God is ministering to them. And God is reaching them. And it's affecting them different ways. Mm -hmm. So you don't judge how God is touching them or how God is reaching them. Amen. But we must know, amen, that we can be touched and we can be reached by God. Amen. Whoo. Praise God. And I wrote this song for, for myself. It says, we used to do all these things when we was in the world. Yeah. yeah, we used to sing. We used to shout. We used to dance. We used to clap. We lift our hands. And we used to cry, kneel, and all these other things. And you, we didn't care who was watching. Uh. We just did it. And now we come to church. We can't do it in church. We can't do it for God because mm. people is watching us. Yeah. You know? Uh, we got to get it right. Amen. Uh, 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 uh. We got to get it right. We was drunk and crazy. Didn't even care who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can, I, I told you last week, we can get high and we can get drunk mm -hmm. in him. Yes. Amen. And, and have no side effects. That's it. But still, you know, if I'm going to be crazy for somebody, I'm going to be crazy for him. Yes. I'm going to be excited for him. Yes. And I'm going to kneel. I'm going to cry. Tears of joy, you know, just to. Love you, Lord. Thank you yes. for loving me, for having me, yes. for choosing me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're to be participators and not spectators. Right. Amen. Amen. Some skip or dissect part of the services for their favorite part. Huh. Some look for entertainment. I said a few minutes ago, here's my paper. Church is not to be entertained, but empowered. Yes. Amen. How are you going to be empowered? With the Word of God. That's it. Amen. We're not to be entertained. Some are looking for entertainment. Huh. Yeah. Some choose different denominations or different entertainments uh, that doesn't offend them yeah. or challenge them yeah. or teach them. Mm -hmm. I just want to be out. I just want to sit. I just mm -hmm. want to stay out of it. You know? <laughs> well, that's not good enough. Mm. Some just come and sleep all through it. <laughs> see, as pastor, you get to see some of that too. <laughs> you see people in the audience, you know, hey, they showed up, but they are out. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> Praise the you write this down. Uh, I want you to know this because some people are always talking about this. Praise and worship is not just a tune-up or a warm-up uh -huh. for the service. That's right. Praise and worship is in the service. It's the whole thing. Amen. Amen. So don't dissect different parts of the service. Amen. Amen. Praise and worship is all in the one service. And we invite you or the Holy Spirit to come. You know, uh, some of you don't get to hear us pray, but we always invite the Holy Spirit to come. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, this is your service. Have your way. Amen. It's not just me. I don't want to do something for, you know, make a name for myself or whatever, you know. Say, Holy Spirit, this is your service. You have your way. Touch your people. Let me speak the right things for people to be blessed, for people to be touched, for people to be healed, for people to be released. Yeah. Amen. Holy Spirit is awesome. Amen. Yeah. The Holy Spirit, you are welcome in our services yeah. every time. Every time. Amen. Yeah. He is here to stay the whole service. Amen. You prepare to receive. You prepare yourselves to receive. You know, he does his part. We must do our part. Amen. You know, we got so many things going on in our in our minds. Mm. And so busy. And we're going to be talking about this, but God is knocking on your door. Mm -hmm. And you're not letting them in because I've got so many priorities. And Jesus is not the top priority. Mm. Service is not my top priority. Oh, so, <laughs> you know, it's, we, we, we just have to rest our mind mm. and surrender our minds and just say <laughs> you're just going to be still and listen to what God has to say mm. and receive what God has Amen. not only be hearers but be doers of yes. what God has to say mm. Amen. so he is here he's there, he's with you yeah. so what are you going to do about it mm. Amen. don't worry about it. 
what the neighbors are talking about or what the neighbors wear. Yeah. <laughs> or who's late. <laughs> Nobody made you the judge. Oh, God. Just you receive. And then uh -huh. you receive. He has something for you. He is here. He comes and he is welcome and he's invited. Yes. Open your heart's door and you'll, some of you have had him shut for a long time, oh all your lives. Mm. And this is where I, I was telling you about the robber at the, at the cross. Mm. He's had his heart closed all the time mm. until he met Jesus. Mm. He says, I recognize you. Mm. You're Jesus, son of God. And Jesus recognized him and says, today you'll be with me. Amen. Some of you, this is time for you to come home. Amen. Just say, I repent. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Repent is just get away from from, from the world. Get away from, from the sin. Amen. And come, come back to Jesus. Come back home. Amen. That's what you got to do. So what's holding you and what's stopping you? <laughs> Amen. It's time to stop. Keep going. There we go. Remember this one? <laughs> the storm is in life. The storm. The storm is hitting the tree. But you notice the tree is blowing. <laughs> but the trees spelled out, the branches spelled out faith. Mm -hmm. And the roots spelled out Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so when the storm comes, you got to have faith mm -hmm. in him. You got to have faith in Christ. Yeah. And you got to have some deep roots yeah. in Christ. Okay? Not just shallow roots, yeah. but deep roots. Amen? Yeah. And you're going to do that by getting in this word, studying this word, getting the word of God in you. Amen? And confessing that word, getting that word out. Amen? And you're going to mature in the things of God. Amen? So the enemy is not afraid of uh, the Bible. He's afraid of how much of the Bible you got in you. Yes. And how much of that Bible is coming out of you. Yeah. How, how much of the Bible is coming from you. Amen. When he hears that, he says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee. Now I'm taking authority over this thing. I'm taking authority, devil. You're not going to run my life anymore. I'm taking authority, so I submit myself to God, and you're going to flee. Amen. Some of us, that's for you. See? This is for you. Amen. You gotta get it. It's time. It's time to come home. I just keep keep, keep hearing that. <laughs> keep going. There we go. <laughs> Revelation three twenty says, "Behold, this is Jesus talking. <laughs> I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him, and he with me." Amen. Another translation says, look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and I will share my, a meal together as a friend. Go to the next one. Will you let him in? Mm. You know, you haven't been at one, you have not been at opening the door. Mm. He's been knocking on your door, but you haven't opened the door. Yeah. It's time that you open the door. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe nowadays uh, he's been ringing your phone mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're not answering your phone. Mm -hmm. Amen? But it's time to answer. It's God and you know it's God, but you keep putting him off. Amen? Yes. It's time to come home. Mm -hmm. Keep hearing that. <laughs> it's time to come home. <laughs> it's time to open your door. You've been holding it shut for too many times, too many years, too many, mm -hmm. too long for life. Amen? Yes. And the enemy has had his way with you. And you've had all kinds of storms of life. But it's time to come home. Mm. Amen. It's time to come home. Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. That's all you got to do. Just like that robber that told Jesus, hey, you know, hey, I've had my way, and look what he got me. He got me crucified. But before I go to heaven, I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Some of us need to do that before we go to heaven. Amen. Yeah. If we want to go to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. He comes and wants to come in, but we don't invite him in. You know, a lot of people come to your door, come to your house, they knock on your door, and you got a peephole, <laughs> and you look, <laughs> and you don't let them in. That's right. Amen. You can pick and choose who you want to come in your door. 
Amen. We let the the world in, and guess what? The world came in, and the world don't want to leave. Mm. It's time to get the world out and open the door for God to come in. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> yes. But this is on a daily basis as we serve Him. You know, we need to open the door and yeah. be there and be available to Him. That's what He. That's what He's looking for. He's looking for people yeah. that are available to Him. Amen. Yeah. He wants to use people that are available. Mm -hmm. You don't care. It's not how much you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. And he's wanting for you to be available. Mm -hmm. It's not about how much money you got or how much education you got. It's how much of God you have. Yes. He wants to have you. He wants to have Amen. your heart. If he if he's got your heart, he's got you. Amen. That's what he wants. Uh -huh. Amen. He make yourself available. Say, Lord, come in. I'm opening the door. Come on in. So no more complaints. Just open the door. Invite him in. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Door's always open. Yes. You know the story of the prodigal son, you know. He just left. Hmm. And a lot of us have left and gone and been gone for too long. Mm -hmm. But the prodigal son knew it's time to go home. Mm -hmm. I say, man, I get, I, I get treated better at home by my father <laughs> than, than yeah. this world. Treats oh. me, you know. You're a nobody in the world. Oh, you're gonna feed through this true. whole world. And they say, Well, you, you're a nobody. Mm -hmm. But God says, You are somebody. Mm -hmm. I created you. I know you. Amen. And he knows everything about you, and he loves you the most. Yes. And he wants you to come home. Amen. Yes. So this is somebody really needs this now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The door is always yeah. open. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Every day. The father went and looked down the road, yes. waiting for the son to come home. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for you to come home. Amen. And it's you. <laughs> Quit putting it off. You know, it's somebody else. Oh, he's talking about somebody else. No, <laughs> talking to you. Yeah. Amen. He's talking to you. He says, you, it's time for you to come home. You know what? He's got great plans for you. Yes. He's got a, a great plan, great mission for you. And it's time that you come home so that you can fulfill what God has called you yes. to do. Amen. Amen. Everything to complete the mission God has given you. So don't say you're nobody, and don't say I can't do it, because the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Amen. So praise God. Whew. We're going to read a psalm, and then we're going to close. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You open your Bibles. Yeah, we read the Bible. We read the Bible here. <laughs> open your Bibles to Psalms 100. Psalm 100. Amen. Oh, it's a song of praise. Yes. Amen. It's a song of praise. Psalms 100. We're going to read the whole thing. It's five, five verses. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Mm -hmm. Serve the Lord with gladness, gladness. not sadness. Yes. With gladness. Mm -hmm. Come before his presence with singing. Mm -hmm. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. Amen. Amen. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Into into his gate with thanksgiving. You know, you open your eyes. Thank you, God, for waking me up. Thank you for the wake up call. And now I'm just gonna go into enter enter your gates with thanksgiving. Yes. Thank you for yes. thank you, thank you for waking me up. And into his courts with praise. Uh -huh. And be thankful unto him and bless uh -huh. his name. For the Lord is good, uh -huh. his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth. To all, all generations. Generation. Amen. Yes. Now go all the way to the end. And we're going to read Psalms 150. Oh, 150? Oh, mm -hmm. right. Psalms 150. It's another praise song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, let everything praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, praise ye the Lord. Yes. Praise God in the sanctuary. Yes. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him with it, his mighty act. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding symbols. Yes. Let everything that has breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Praise so you know what? <laughs> but I'm not going there. <laughs> there. 
Isaiah 60, 60, 61 and 3 says this, Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes. You know, if you got any heaviness on you, <laughs> put on the garment of praise. <laughs> praise him. Amen. These things have to go, have to leave. <laughs> it says when the king has some uh, evil spirits messing with him, <laughs> David came and played the harp, and they would leave. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so you know what? God can use you. Yes, he can. Amen. God can use you, and he uses his instruments, you know. <laughs> Praise yeah. God. Psalms 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Your his mouth. praise will continually be in my mouth. In my mouth. Amen. Amen. So you know what? You hang around the wrong crowd. If you're going to hang around with the crowd, hang around where you could praise him continually. Yes. Amen. Yes. And they might be talking about all the turmoils that's going on right now, but you're going to praise God. Yes. And you're yes, going to yes. praise Him and just say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're just praying unto you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank and you, Lord. Psalms uh, 63 and 3 says, Because your loving kindness is better than life, uh -huh. my lips shall praise you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to close with that right there. Amen. And, uh, you, well, I want to give you this one before we close praise is a weapon yes amen praise is a weapon you know when 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 the god told uh, joshua he says what i want you to do jericho walls was he couldn't penetrate the walls of jericho fortified city fortified city mm -hmm. but god told uh, joshua i want you to march around the city and I want you to put the, uh, the uh, uh, praisers up front. <laughs> and guess what? He obeyed what God said. And they did what God said. And that wall came down. Mm -hmm. Amen. When we're here as endorsed of the word, God, we're, things will happen. Things will happen. Amen. As we obey him. When we obey him, you know, it sounds impossible. Joshua, a great general, yeah. thinking like, I need an army. I need warriors. I need soldiers. <laughs> God says, put the warrior, the, the worshipers up front. Put, put the praisers up front. Yeah. Say, well, you got it wrong. No, you don't you don't you don't judge him. You don't question him. You just do what he says to That's do. It. Amen. When he says to do, it sounds crazy, it sounds don't sound right, but he said it, so you do it. Be and, and, and be, be <laughs> obedient. Amen. And then be and be be in shock. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Key to victory, mm -hmm. victorious living is, Paul says. Praise him, give thanks, mm -hmm. and have an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yes. praise God. We're going to stop there. Thank you, Lord, for your precious word. Thank you for blessing your people, Lord. Those that are watching, Lord, we just thank you for those, Father God, that needed this word, Father God. Yes. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. If you never accepted Christ, now's the time. He says, come home. All you have to do is, Lord, I confess my sins. I repent. I get away. I just give them all to you. Amen. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come Amen. into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Be my Heavenly Father. And Amen. you know what? He's got great plans for you. Yes. And you can go and start doing for him. That's right. Start right now. You know, this is this is the day the Lord has made it. And this is the time for, for you to press out and go out for him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you're hurting for any reason, whatever reasons, you know, mm -hmm. we're just going to believe. The word of God says that by Jesus Christ you're healed. Yes. So we're going to speak to your body. Amen. Yes. And body, you be obedient and receive yes. what God said, the word of God. Amen. Amen. So body, line up with the word of God and receive yes. right now. So wherever you're hurting, if you're able to put your hand to it, yes. just say, by Jesus Christ I'm yes. healed. And I thank you, Father. Anything coming against the Father God, any hurts, Father God, any uh, malfunctions, unbalanced things, Father God, they have in their bodies. We just call it well. We call it healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, giving time. <laughs> Those of you that are watching and or listening, uh, if you look at our screen up here. Uh, you can uh, send your uh, your tithe to the website there, and they got a donate button. It's NBCBigBen.com, or 
if you're mailing it, you can send it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And so we want to say thank you for joining us. Amen. Be blessed. Have a blessed week. Love you. God bless.